Hi, my name is Dong. I am a Canadian animator working in Japan. Something that all animators must know how to do is to draw a walk cycle. I animated walks both on Japanese shows and Canadian shows, and yeah, they do differ. Let's take a look at how to animate them and see which walk cycle I like better. Spoilers, it's the uh, Japanese one. Before we start, note that I will be using the OpenTune software to animate in. This isn't a software guide, so use whatever software you are comfortable with. If you do want to know more about my workflow with OpenTunes, check out my tutorial on that. We'll start with a Japanese walk cycle, but note that both Japanese and Western walk cycles both share many elements. Before we start, draw a horizontal reference line for the ground on a separate layer. This will come in handy later. A basic walk has four unique positions that are then repeated with the legs swapped. First, we have the contact position, called so because both feet are touching the ground. The hands are flayed out in the opposite pattern of the legs, so if the right leg is forward, then the left arm is forward. I'll use a basic animator stickman, like the ones that Richard William draws since that was first how I learned to animate walks. We'll have our character run on a treadmill, so imagine them running in place. I like this way of doing things as this lets us just slide the layer the animation is on to get the character to move. Okay, the next pose is the down position. The whole body is shifted downwards and both feet are still on the ground, just move the bit backwards if you can imagine that treadmill running below the character. The arms here are at the widest position. Next, we have the passing position. The body moves upward with the head at a slightly higher height than the first contact position. The right leg straightens and lines up with the torso, while the left leg comes up and passes the right leg. The arms start moving in the opposite direction. After that is the up pose. The body moves up as the right leg travels back and the heel comes off the ground. The left leg continues moving forward while the arms continue their direction of travel. And lastly, we return to the contact pose, but with the legs and arms in opposite positions from our beginning contact pose. Turn on your onion skin for this as it helps a lot. We now would just redraw the other poses again, but with the arms and legs switched. Again, onion skin helps here a lot. We should have 8 drawings when we are finished. Let's flip through our drawings and check the spacing on the legs and make sure that everything is consistent and there are no major errors. As for timing, in general a normal step takes around half a second. This works to around 12 frames a step, so 12 frames for one contact pose to the other, or 24 frames for the full 2 step cycle. For a Japanese walk cycle, we just take our drawing that we just drew and put them on threes. So the contact position is on frame 1, the down position is on frame 4, the pass position is on frame 7, and the up on 10. The opposite contact pose is on 13, and so on. Let's go back to our treadmill and see how it looks. Nice, eh? For the western walk cycle, we have to make some changes. We want to keep our 12 frame walk as it is the standard timing for walks. However, since animation is done on 2's in the west, we need drawings on frames 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and etc. Obviously, with 3D animation is done on 1, so they don't run into this issue, but for us, this means we need to throw out the down and up position and split each of those drawings into two separate drawings. You will have to interpolate those drawings like a bit how you would do with an in-between, but 
Instead of a straight in-between, we have to think in terms of thirds. Those new drawings are going to be a bit vague, and that's where the problem comes in. The up and down positions are strong poses, each being the most extreme in terms of height. But with those new poses, they are just naturally going to be not as strong. But enough complaining, let's get drawing. We will use the down and up pose to help draw those new poses, treating them a bit like in-betweens. Here I have the contact and down pose on my onion skin, and remembering to think in terms of thirds, we draw the next drawing favoring the down pose here. We're also going to have rename our drawings, so here would be the new A2. Next, we have the down and pass position on onion skin, and we draw the new drawing, again favoring the down position. And remember to name it as our new A3 drawing. We then remove the down pose and repeat what we did for the up pose. This is what the new A5 drawing would look like. And this is the new A6 drawing. Delete the old up pose, and we now do what we just did, but for the other leg. Again, use your onion skin to make this much easier. In the end, we should have 12 drawings in total. Let's play it back. And now let's compare those two walk cycles together. I feel like even though there are less drawings in the Japanese walk cycle, the stronger poses make it feel more appealing. And it's just also easier to do. In fact, a lot of Western animators will not even animate walks at 12 frames a step, even though it is the most common walk speed. They would make the walk slower or faster so that they can use those four main poses by making the walk at 8 frames a step or 16 frames a step. But I do think the way that we do the same things differently across cultures is pretty interesting. Anyways, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Check out my Twitter, and big thanks to all the supporters of the channel on Patreon. You guys make stuff like this happen. Until next time.